ladies and gentlemen i think ah yeah. uh, kuna hoja na wewe mwenzangu alileta to a certain level yeah. and the spirit is now going down yeah. na tunapotea mahali i had two points no, 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 i don't want you to do that I, 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 i know the line of thinking now allow me say this if you are not smart in school don't do it here Yeah. Now the motion actually Ganga amesema vitu mingi hapa kama tatu, isn't it? But my issue is about actually auctioning our student outside. But the question we need to ask ourselves. After industrial revolution ambayo ilikuwa pale, watu walienda wakakuwa na industry and all that. But after partitioning of Africa which my sister was talking about. And we have all these states. Where are the companies? And now we here we are training our students as a custodian of the knowledge which actually purely slave mentality with the name of employment. Why do you pro produce in excess? Then we dump them in the parks. Because as we are here we have graduates here. People with good papers. Since morning they are in town. You go to Mombasa, you go to Malindi, you go to Kisumu, all everywhere. Now they are not even working with brown papers because they are in the internet looking for jobs and their work is only looking for jobs. So the government is coming with the way of now auctioning them. As you are being auctioned this evening there's another professor in the university manufacturing some of the idiots in the name of educated lot to be auctioned. <laughs> That one does not mean that I'm trying to demean our education. What I'm simply saying, can we go deeper down into our education curriculum? We actually put it in a way that is so practical, tangible thing, verifiable. Things actually were coming out because what for example now. Here is a case whereby people have mobilized themselves from the up country to the city looking for the capital which is very scarce and I know you don't have it in your pocket. But because of that we've been captured to the extent that people are here who cannot even afford lunch. But now they fear going back home whereby according to them home belong to the people who are uneducated. I don't know whether I don't know that making sense. So as we are talking yes our governments are vulnerable. Remember when Pan-Africanism started with the Kwame Nkrumah and the likes there were actually division and that sharp division people are not debating today. The contradiction which created Bonrovia and Casablanca even today that question is still within that platform. We have African head of state who are going there as a club That is a club whereby African head of state meet come up with with resolutions which they do, they do not even come to explain to their citizen they don't even implement they don't implement so even that body is a body of a club of few individuals who do not have ideas when Gaddafi was talking about unification of Africa he meant it when he was talking about one army of Africa he meant it When he was talking about one currency of Africa he meant it Today as we are talking yes not meeting him I was his, his representative and this is the record yes I was the representative of Gaddafi in this country is in the record the people who know know that But that one aside when he was talking about that Today we are talking about unification of Africa but I can see now that idea of East Africa coming together You are coming together on what even going to Uganda she has so explain it here. Is an issue and kiangalia Uganda na mimi na wale wengine we are just the same. Kwenda hapa Tanzania is just the same. So what you are simply saying can we be practical? Can we do things actually ambayo inaweza katusaidia? Saa hizi nilisema juzi hapa nimeona hii mambo ya CBC. And nilikuwa najiuliza maswali na I keep on asking myself If something went wrong with 844 some of us who have engaged ama wameenda kwa hiyo somebody need to explain that actually these are half bad students then how are we rectifying it with this cb where is the infrastructure because what i'm asking and what i mean by infrastructure is because 
if we are saying that CBC in a tender is, is a talent based kind of let's say that in standard four I've identified as a teacher I've identified your son as a uh, as a you can play football yes now where is the academy is the academy of football part of the program so why do you tell me after identify so what are you getting yes. now because we must identify then we have special school so that we cluster them into different what groups is there any infrastructure for that and what is the budget then if come again so it's a scam that is those are your words yeah they, they are saying that it's a scam but you <laughs> <laughs> are you getting that now if 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 that is the case tunasema kwamba ni lazima tuna identify talent nusha identify is parents wanaweza soko because you are the parents here can you explain to us do you understand the concept of cbc as a parent do you understand do the government can the government stand and tell us exactly without fear contradiction what what do they want to achieve with cbc yeah. and he lies. He lies. He lies. He lies. So, so, no 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 allow me let, let me let me see. so in other words education